And a recycling center in West Grand Rapids is destroyed after a lightning strike started a fire overnight. Firefighters battled the flames all day today. 13 on your side's Nathan Lee joins us now outside that building. And Nathan, what's happening there at this hour? Yeah, well, Julia, what you're seeing behind me here are the remnants of the Pad Nos Recycling Center on Front Street. And I'm going to take a step out of frame so you can see what's going on here. Uh, you can see that fire crews have left the area. That means that there is no risk for any more of those pop up fires to be happening. Those crews you see here are Padnos crews that are sifting through the rubble, cleaning things up, deciding what their next steps are going to be. Now, this is the fifth fire that Padnos has had to deal with since 2016. Grand Rapids Fire Marshal says that the materials that Padnos works with makes them more vulnerable to these fires. Now, usually crews are able to stop things before they get out of hand. Unfortunately, that was not the case for this today. Uh, at the same time as shock. Joshua Young, a worker and resident at the Exodus Place in West Grand Rapids, watched this next door building go up in flames. Consumers had to shut the power off so fire crews don't get electrocuted. Young and other shelter residents woke up to the sound of a lightning strike. Just a loud boom is what it sounded like. Minutes later, fire trucks rushed by. The Padnos Recycling Center on Front Street was on fire. The magnitude is, you know, pretty impressive. Grand Rapids Fire Marshal Bill Smith says crews responded to a worker's call, saying they saw smoke in the facility. The company manager even said that a neighbor was on his front porch watching the storms when he saw the lightning hit the building. When trucks arrived, the fire had grown significantly. The fire was advanced enough that it, it drove our fire suppression crews out and we went defensive at that time. Adding to the stress, potentially dangerous combustible metals like sodium and magnesium in the loading docks of the building. We also have uh, oil uh, that's in there, uh, petroleum distillate, which is about 2,000 gallons. Smith says fighting the fire was difficult, arriving at 3 a.m. and using over 60 people to contain fire risks for over half the day. Uh, we don't like uh, overworking our people. That's not a good uh, moment for them health-wise, and we have been very diligent in uh, replacing our crews in a timely manner. Smith says the focus is on safely securing the scene. They've made a lot of good progress on something that was well advanced, and I'm very happy with the operations that they've continued with. Now again, this is the fifth fire that Padnos has had to deal with in eight years. I reached out to the company for comment, but they didn't get back to me. In the meantime, Smith says that he doesn't want anyone inside or around the building because of how unstable it is. In Grand Rapids, Nathan Lee, 13, on your side. Nathan, thank you. And Silicon